think to myself, what a wonderful world. Good morning everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott, that's Savannah. We are SoCal Exploring. Today brings us to the Disneyland Resort because there's a lot of new stuff going on, including stuff here in Tomorrowland. There's Fast Fast for Autopia back. There's some stuff going on over at DCA as well as Fast Fast for Monster Sea. And there's some new beautification going on over there. So we're gonna have a fun day at Disneyland showing you everything that's new. If you're new here, subscribe so you can see more of our videos and our adventures at Disneyland and follow our social media at SoCal Explorer Media on Instagram at SoCal Explorer on Twitter. We're gonna have a good day today. Hell yeah. What we boarding group did we get today? 13. 13 today. Because we're with my cousin. Yes. <laughs> we got we got boarding group 13 and we're with Savannah's little cousin and he's very unlucky with stuff. <laughs> so we got 13, an unlucky number, but still a great number. Let's oh go have gosh, fun right. at Disneyland today. <laughs> so our first stop is Autopia. And like I said, they have fast pass for, for it game. now. So now they have like a little electronic sign over here that says the current time. I don't see a sign that says fast pass time, but where you get the fast pass is right in front of the Space Mountain entrance. That's where you get all the fast passes for Tomorrowland. Or you can do it on your phone. Uh, there's a separate fast pass line for Autopia. I don't remember where they load it, so we're gonna go check that out right now. So with all these fast pass additions um, to Monsters Inc. and Autopia, and now it's gonna be on Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run soon, me and Savannah did a podcast whether or not adding fast pass to these different attractions is a good thing for Disneyland to do because it maximizes the standby way. So if you wanna check out that podcast, click the link down below and you can hear us talk all about fast pass system and what we think Disney should do with it. After waiting for a bit, the posted time was five minutes. It's been about like eight minutes and we're still in this little kind of theater area, as I like to call it. Definitely don't like the fact that they added fast pass to the attraction. The line needs to go a lot more fast. All right, we finally made it over here after they let us out from right over there. But yeah, like I said, not too much of a fan of this fast pass for Autopia, especially for Monsters Inc., which we'll go to a little bit later. That's exactly what I said in the video as well. So just to get an idea of how the fast pass line affected the normal line, for a wait time posted at five minutes, we waited about 15 minutes. Where usually without fast pass, a wait time posted at five minutes, we would only wait five minutes. So they finally installed this exit, it's emergency exit ramp for Space Mountain queue. They've been working on this for quite some time now, like a really long time. It's nothing big, it's just an emergency exit ramp, like I said, or not ramp, but stairway. Pretty sure they only have a couple more things to do with it, and then it'll finally be able for them to use. But they still have some construction walls way up there, and construction walls right there as well. So small little Tomorrowland update. Also, in the theater over here, they're playing an onward exclusive sneak peek, which goes out in theaters on March 8th, I believe. Super excited for Onward. All right, well, this is quite interesting. This is new. So they just redid this whole wall right here for Tomorrowland to prepare for their overhaul coming at an unannounced date, but they're slowly doing an overhaul of Tomorrowland. And since then, they put these kind of weird looking structures up. Almost like little flower pots? I don't know what else it's gonna be. What do you think that'll be? Cause I'm thinking maybe it'll be like a fountain or a planter. Yeah. Probably planters. Probably that probably the best bet, planters for flowers. I wonder if they'll have some like kind of retro wee flowers in there. I don't know, they just look kind of weird and out of place. I, I guess just the color. I'm curious to see what these are purpose for. Let's go to the other side because they're not on the other side of the Star Tour side as well. This is the buzz side. Yeah, see they're on this side as well. We get a better view of them because there's not a large line in front of the wall. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the comment section. What you think these kind of flower pole things will purpose. I will say though, I'm sure Disney is planning something really pretty right here and really aesthetically pleasing. It's just so exciting seeing that the overhaul is actually happening. They're taking it one step at a time, but little stuff like this and redoing these Tomorrowland entrance walls 
makes a big difference in immersion and Tomorrowland definitely needs it. After further investigation, it seems as if Disneyland is throwing it back to the 60s in 1967 when they had these fountains actually out there in front of Tomorrowland. And there were fountains that were also purpose for planters so they could be either or still. However, I think that they're gonna be throwing it back and going with the fountain idea. So it's nice that we're getting throwback stuff, a little bit of a touch up. Even though we're getting a new overhaul, we're still getting a blast from the past in Tomorrowland. Really neat, but the real reason why I think it's gonna be fountains is because I can see when I stood up on my tippy toes a little bit that there's little pipes. So most likely that will be used for a water feature. Very excited that they're throwing it back. So this is exciting stuff, some big stuff happening over at the Tomorrowland entrance. What will be exciting is to see what the future of the former Rocket Rod and People Mover track will, will be, like, will be demolished? Because this is the one thing that a lot of people are wishing. And I'm wishing it too. So hopefully, we will see the demolition of the People Mover slash Rocket Rod track very soon, but who knows, that's kind of a toss-up. They've had this here for such a long time since the closures of the two attractions. Oh, goodness. Like, 10.40, or it's 11? Okay, so it's 11 o'clock right now, and a lot of crowds to get into the park. This line over here on the far left stretches all the way down there, because I guess a lot of people don't know that there's more lines over here. Uh, kind of weird. Didn't think it was going to be as busy today. But who knows? Maybe it's just because it's like a rush hour for people to get into the park right now. As we make our way into California Adventure, or Hollywood Lane in specific, you can see that the big portrait over there that looks like you're going down a street as an illusion is covered in scrim right now. We'll get closer up to it, but basically they're just repainting it and refurbishing it. Let's go take a closer look. It looks so weird. I'm usually used to painting, but just this big old blue wall looks so weird. It's kind of funny looking. It looks bigger than it actually, like no, it, it, it's actually this big. It just, it looks bigger with the scrim covering it. It's so funny. I don't know, are you guys the same with me? Well, obviously you'd have to be here in person to get the full effect going, but to me, in person, looks like a huge wall. I wonder what will be repainted. It will probably be up, back out, in about, I give it like two and a half weeks. But once they do take the scrim down, I'm sure it's gonna look beautiful and it's brand new fresh coat of paint. I like how they still offer guests a photo op. This isn't as grand as the normal photo op, but I mean, here you go. You can take your picture in front of a makeshift painted Hollywood sign on a construction wall. <laughs> Interesting, I don't know, to me it looks like kind of tacky, but I'm sure guests take pictures in front of it. Here's another view right here of how it's looking. It's actually a great shot, even though it's just a blank blue wall, this is a great shot. Another attraction that got fast pass is Monsters Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue. Let's go check out the wait, what the wait time is right now and how Fast Pass is affecting that wait time here in Disney's California Adventure. Well, as you can see right there, the wait time is at 60 minutes. And right inside the attraction, you can see that they have a separate Fast Pass line and a standby line. And then the Fast Pass location to get paper fast passes for this attraction is directly across the right entrance right over here. As you can see, it's a themed cart just like they would use for watercolor or Fantasmic. And this is where you would get your fast pass. Matt, when you go in there, can I know? Now, it doesn't show you the times like every other attraction does. You'd have to check on your app most likely or just wing it and get a fast pass and then check the actual ticket that you got. So fast pass for Monsters Inc. Definitely don't think it's a, it's a good thing. I wouldn't recommend waiting in standby for this attraction. But then again, if you have children, that's the only thing you can do, then I'd recommend it. But if you just want to ride monsters, 
then I'd recommend trying to get a fast pass for it. And speaking about Pixar news, Disney just posted that we're going to be getting a meet and greet with the two characters from Disney's newest film, Onward, releasing on March 6th. I recently said that uh, and when we're over in Tomorrowland, I think it's March 8th, but it's March 6th and that's when you can meet the two characters, I believe their names are Ian and Barley, the two main characters from the brand new Pixar film. You can meet them here at Disney's California Adventure on Pixar Pier starting on March 6th or March 5th at Pixar Night, the exclusive after hours event. Something that we have not done in a while is eating at Lamplight Lounge over on Pixar Pier and we were able to snag reservations today. So let's go have some lunch at Lamplight Lounge. We're waiting for our table here in the Lamplight waiting area. It's been too long. I'm so happy we get to be back in here. We got better seats compared to last time. Last time we were over there. And this time we're right here with a beautiful view and cushiony seats, I might add. Got to look what I want on this menu. And then I'll show you guys once I get it. This is what I got. I got the pork wings. We got a cheeseburger over there. We got the lobster nachos. So I'm gonna bite into these and see how these taste. Last time, I got the chicken sandwich. So I figured I'd switch it up a bit. Pretty good though. Not gonna lie, would recommend it. Well, after a good hearty meal, as some of you may know, I just recently bought a GoPro. So I haven't tested out on a roller coaster other than Electric Eel down at SeaWorld. So let's go test it out on the Incredicoaster to end the day. Well, that does it for today's visit to the Disneyland Resort. Big day, big park updates, lots of fun here today. Today was a great visit here at the Disneyland Resort. Subscribe if you're new here to watch theme park updates weekly, like the one that you just watched with those bell notifications on, and follow us on social media at SoCal Exploring uh, Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. My name is Scott, you've been watching SoCal Exploring Positivity's Kid, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace.